Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing a voiceover because I just thought it would be easier. Sorry, I didn't have an intro or anything like that. I was just trying to, you know, get it going. So this is how I did my maternity milk bath. It was very cheap for me, adding everything up. Like I bought these flowers for, I think it was $10 and the roses were already in the house because it was my birthday December 1st so all you have to do is cut all the flowers you're gonna use um, right below the stem like a little further down so there's a little bit you see just like a little bit of stem there because that helps the flowers flow and helps them stay up Look at this guy. <laughs> this guy's not even helping me drinking his Pepsi. Okay, so very important. Yeah, use some good old bleach on your tub. Make sure that tub is very nice and clean. Um, your whole milk, the flowers, your camera. This is the camera I used, my Canon T7i. It's new, it's amazing. And yeah, and this was very helpful having the laptop nearby so my man can get ideas, you know, all my dress, my clips, all that stuff was there. Another thing that's very important is the lighting. Let me tell you, I thought the light in the um, bathroom would be enough, but it was not. It was very yellow. We do not want no yellow light, trust me. So I got my ring light. I got it off eBay for like $60, not bad price at all um yeah very important lighting obviously um yeah so i turned on the water this guy was like rushing to put the milk in he's like oh fourth is fine i'm like boy no we need more than that so to make it perfectly milky like you can see there and in my pictures i added three fourths of the milk and then i also really wanted to decorate around the edges of the tub to make it look really cute you know so let me just say, do not get discouraged if like your man is doing the pictures or your friend or, you know, your family member. I don't know, because it was really, <laughs> it was really rough at first. Like he was like, I don't understand your vision. And I'm like, boy, look at the Pinterest pictures. Like they were all right there on the laptop. Like that's exactly why I had it open there for him. But anyway, so he finally kind of understood where I was coming from, like what I really wanted when he started taking the pictures and kind of getting more comfortable you know make sure the person gets different angles stands <laughs> on different <laughs> edges of the tub and don't get discouraged because i really thought at one point that like <laughs> these pictures are going to be so so bad but no they actually turned out great and you know make sure the person really wants to give you a great experience and understands how important these pictures are for you and tries their really like seriously their best to get great angles you know make you look nice and yeah make sure they actually care about you because if they don't care the pictures are gonna be bad okay that one is cute which one i wish you would have gotten more of the shells or you what you were able I don't think I was able. That one looks professional. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God. I'm kind of surprised. I thought you were going to get like some weird ass. So make sure it's also someone that's doing your pictures. If it's a professional or whoever that you're comfortable giving some direction and saying like, okay, I want, you know, this type of picture or that. And it would be great if you have someone that helps you and says like, oh, you should do this or, you know, put the flowers like this or stand like this, because trust me, like it gets kind of stressful. You're like, all right, I did this pose a million times. As you can see, this guy is actually like thinking of something good that we can do differently. So he wanted to like um, use my dress to make it more nice soft white around the tub and he actually made it look super super nice just how i looked in the pictures 
some of them were not that great. <laughs>